finding a solution, finding a problem that you can solve in the marketplace, right? Finding a problem that you can solve. Um, we get paid to solve problems. That's as an entrepreneur, right? Now, some of you guys might be part-time entrepreneurs. You might be full-time entrepreneurs, but entrepreneurs solve problems, okay? Now, Live Good is the vehicle that we bring to the marketplace, but sometimes you may need to figure out how to make that work for you. So for example, um, I just saw where Bank of America actually cut 7,500 people recently, okay? And, and there's more to come. So you have to ask yourself, if I wanted to help people, um, do I find joy in helping people that may be really looking for an additional source of income right now because they really just laid off 7,500 people from Bank of America? If that were something that you wanted to do, how could you help them? In what way could you bridge live good as a way to help them? What message would be vital for them, right? What message would be vital for them? What is the pain point that they may be experiencing right now or some of the anxiety that they may be feeling or their family members may be feeling, right? Think about how other people's lives can be positively impacted by the amazing vehicle that you now get to drive. Right. That's essentially what it is. You don't have to be the, the Ben Glinsky entrepreneur and the Nada Kazan and the Ryan and Lisa Goodkin entrepreneur because you don't have to create the company. You don't have to create the products. You don't have to design the products or formulate the products. You don't have to program or, or code the compensation plan. You don't have to have the legal team. You don't have to have any of the things that those entrepreneurs may have or that those business professionals have, but you have a very specific purpose in the whole scheme of what we're doing in Live Good. And it is to go out and it is to connect with, a, I, I believe, a special mission that you um, can contribute to and, and solve and, and really help people to see the value of why Live Good could be so important to them. So I'm just going to leave it with that, right? People are losing their jobs. I don't really see it stopping anytime soon, all right? It's going to be in various industries. Banks are going bananas, if you guys follow business in that sense. And and I really just think there's a huge opportunity for people, um, especially like Nader said, you know, the goal is for the single moms to make an extra 500 bucks or whatever. I'm a single mom, right? Um, and so, you know, I thought about that as I was driving, like, hmm, do I want to talk to single moms? Now, normally I don't like talking to single moms because <laughs> I've tried talking a single mom before so i'm gonna i'm gonna think through this this is just me this is me speaking out loud i'm gonna speak through i'm gonna think through this a little bit how can i support them even more um because a lot of times single moms have so many other issues going on that it's hard it's very very hard for them to focus um on just what we want them to focus on and i'm not knocking that i'm just saying i'm in tons of single mom groups and i watch the conversations right and i'm just like well we've got to find a way to help them so i'm with you on that nada i'm with you on that i'm just going to try to figure out how i can contribute to that mission um but that's what i want to say find your mission within what we're doing Use Live Good as the vehicle and realize there are problems all around that you could actually step in and solve uniquely. So take that, use it as you see fit, and back over to you, Ben.